to me request. Oh my fight hype. Talk about Cecilia Brockis. Um talk about Cecilia Brockis being a uh, oh my god, I don't even want to say the words that I'm thinking right now, but soft. Then her promoter, Tom Loeffler, tweeted me talking about some. Your brother punched a coach. Did I punch a coach? What are you talking about? Like, bruh, almost had me lose my stuff. Like, what? You mad because I can beat your fighter? Like, what does that got to do? First of all, like I had tweeted, I'm like, I wasn't even there to even know what happened. But for you to even tweet that, though, like, you weak as hell. Just say that your girl can't beat me in boxing and shut up and move on. Like, I'm telling you, Tom Loeffler is so weak. He made her, he made her look 20, 20 times more weak than what she already is. It's a whole video of her saying Clarissa Shields would have to lose weight and come down and weigh to be a problem for, you know, for me and her to fight. Because I was at 168. I brought my fat ass all the way down to 154. And where's she at? Nowhere. And then he talking about some class. Like, look, whoever hit homegirl coach ain't got no class. And whoever did it is in jail. But it wasn't me. So don't even mention that tied to my name. What you need to mention is that I'm a three-time division world champ and Cecilia Brock is only gonna fall that one weight class. That's what you need to mention, Tom Loeffler. See, what he don't know is, if I was to get his old ass in the ring, I would whoop his ass too. Cecilia had to jump in there and help him. He better be glad he a promoter and he ain't no damn boxer cause I'll serve him up a nice ass whooping, for sure. I be telling people, like, do not play with me. I am not a child. I had to block this grown man because I was finna go in. I was finna go in, like, go in, like, seriously. I had to block this man. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Talk, you to tweeting me like you stupid. Got the biggest fight of my life coming up, and you mad because I said that your fighter is a B-level fighter. She is. How you 37 and 0, 36 and 0, and lose to somebody 9 and 0 with two knockouts? A girl not an old, two knockouts come get in the ring with me. Man, I'ma bust her ass. What you talking about? And she get in there and lose. And people talking about some, she gotta, let me take my ring off. Talking about some, she gotta um get her titles back and this is redemption. Like, man, shut up. Tom, Tom Loeffler is a clown. He's a clown. He need to retire from being a promoter. For sure. For sure, he need to retire. Went. When, uh, when he tweeted that, he showed all his cards. He's weird. I'm, and y'all know, I, man, I've been being so low-key, focusing on just promoting my fight. I'm in love, everything. And then here he come, mad because I said his fighter a B-level fighter and then going to talk about, talk about class. This person hit this person at the weigh-in. Did I punch a coach at a weigh-in? I don't have class if I do something. Not if somebody else do, and I don't care who it is. I don't care who it is. So how are you going to try to act like I can control somebody else's body and what they do? Also, let's not forget that the coach who was up in Flint, he ain't had no class. The way he was sitting there calling my sister all kind of B-I-T-C, uh, man, y'all know what I'm finna spell. Calling her all kind of B-words. Talking about he would knock her the F out. Like, what man talk like that to a woman? Whether she gay or not. That ain't, that ain't how you talk to no woman. And that's definitely not how you talk to nobody, family members. Seriously. Seriously. Like I said, you know, I, and I also wish him a speedy recovery. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I didn't do it. So how I ain't got no class, Tom? Uncle Tom has. Better get up out my face talking to me like he knows something.